Awashi is a football anime that released six months before Blue Lock. And while Blue Lock is amazing and had a banger of a season, I think Awashi might be better. It is a sports anime, you suck. Don't overthink things, you stupid YouTuber. Hey, what the fuck? The story of Awashi follows this boy called Ashito. And like everyone who's ever played football, ever, he wants to be a striker, the best striker in the world. But despite being the star player for his local team, he's still very rough around the edges and overall just plays football for fun because he can score goals. Enter this guy, who sees his talent, scouts him for his team, and, you know, generic shit like that. Now, having heard the premise, I'm sure you've set an expectation for yourself of what this anime is gonna be like. Boy plays sport, boy joins team, boy plays sport. EPICALLY there's always a formula to these things, and with sports anime, at least the ones I've watched, they're typically very light-hearted with some drama to make things spicy. But much like Blue Lock, after watching a couple episodes, my expectations were completely thrown out the window in the best way possible. At its core, Awashi is a football anime. But it's also a slice of life romance drama comedy all shoved into one. Let's talk football first though, because this is exactly what I wanted a football anime to be like. The main character does something in the game, and someone in the crowd goes, <laughs> Nani? Reverse triple twister at the reverse triple twister. Reverse triple twister wa yuza ga subayaku renzok shite kaiten suru ko level no ugo. You know what I mean? Boku no chin chin chisai desu. And as much as I clown on it for being generic, I really appreciate that about sports anime because it shows that the author knows what they're talking about and actually cares about the sport. And Awashi is no different. It actually takes the time to show you how to play football and the nuances behind every little thing. How do players know where to pass? How do they chest the ball to set up for their next shot? Things that you wouldn't normally think about, Awashi brings to light and presents them in a way where the people who know jack shit about football can have a newfound appreciation for it and the people like me who already know the ins and outs of the sport can boost their egos because they knew what a fucking triangle formation was. Awashi takes the extra step of explaining why this play was godlike, why this play was dog shit, and that's what I thought was kind of missing in Blue Lock, because the characters just kind of did the moves and tactics, expecting the audience to know what they were doing. That's why I think most of the episode is just them scoring sick-ass goals, and the while lacking the actual football part of the game. Don't get me wrong, you do get the occasional no. He devoured my chance to make his own chemical reactions with the ball. <laughs> I just shit my pants. But Aoashi does this throughout the anime without coming off as being too edgy and more in the realm of realism. Which brings me to my next point. Aoashi is realistic. You've probably heard or read a comment somewhere that was like, Blue Lock is poo poo stinky overhyped garbage. Aoashi is way more realistic than this trash that I wouldn't even wipe my dog's butthole with. And they're right to some degree. If you remove all the dumb shit they send that sentence. Awashi is realistic, but not in the way that you'd think. Sure, the football that they play is slightly less exaggerated, but I mean, the anime still presents the MC as having this god-given superpower of talking to crows, so put him in a genjutsu. <laughs> oh, whoa, I'm in a Genjutsu. <laughs> it's not too far off from Blue Lock in this sense. But the reason why people say it's realistic is because the show isn't just about football. It's a show specifically about Ashito and the struggles he faces trying to make a career in the field. To be honest, if this anime just went the traditional route of some no-name high school team playing against other no-name high school teams tournament style to reach nationals, I still would have snorted that shit up. Cocaina. But I was pleasantly surprised with what I got instead. Awashi shows us just how hard it can be to become a professional player. Ashito is a country bumpkin trying to make a career out of football. He's good, but he's not the best. So when the opportunity to play for a team in Tokyo comes up, he's obviously ecstatic. His brother's obviously proud of him, and when they go to tell his mom, she says no. Now, before you get off your chair swearing through your screen like, What? How dare she? How dare this bitch get in the way of a young boy's pride? A young boy's dream of playing professional football? He's poor. Oh... Right... Hehe, <laughs> Blue Lock is overhead garbage and I get no bitches in life. Now, go on, tell me. Just tell me, where have you heard of a sports anime where being poor stops you from living your dream? Don't answer that, I don't care, I'm trying to make a point here. There are so many talented people out there that are denied golden opportunities because of what? Their financial situation? Because they can't afford shoes to play with? Can you imagine not having shoes? 
Oh, never mind, Mr. Beast already fixed that problem. What I'm trying to say is, Awashi is realistic in the sense that the characters make realistic decisions. Yeah, obviously, Ashito can't just fuck off to Tokyo to play for the team. There are expenses that have to be paid for food, housing, tuition, and shoes. Someone, please buy him some new fucking shoes. It just so happens that this is an anime, so he gets to go anyway. It's not a spoiler, it's literally in the fucking poster. But Awashi takes the extra care and effort to build up to that point so that when the time comes and he finally has to leave and say goodbye, I definitely did not have a pack of tissues next to me while I cried my eyes out. You simply can't prove that, <laughs> and that never happened. I, mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> he also has this love thing going on, which was pretty meh. I didn't really care for it. Now, one comment that I always see when people talk about Awashi is the idea that, dude, his nose is so big. What the fuck? <laughs> fucking Anton Ego looking ass. Professor Snape looking ass. <laughs> mm. <laughs> is the idea that it's a friendship simulator. And for some reason, that's a bad thing. What's wrong with having friends, you bozo? But it's not as prevalent as some might argue. At least for me. There's trash talk. There's drama. There's... Fucking class segregation. I didn't know there'd be politics in kickball, but apparently there is. Without spoiling too much, basically everyone plays for the youth team, but there's youth team A and youth team B. So youth team A looks down on youth team B because they're like the big dick big boys. Then there are these guys who got promoted to youth team B from the junior team, so they look down on the people like Ashito who aren't as prestigious as them because they only got through thanks to tryouts. So the anime pretty much revolves around them trying to set aside their differences to try and become a functional team work their way through the ranks from team B to team A, and eventually play for the almighty first team. It's honestly a pretty interesting concept because, yeah, not everyone's just gonna magically become friends because they play on the same team. If they see you as a liability, then guess what? They're not gonna pass to you. It just makes sense. You're telling me I have to play nice just because you're the MC? W what about me? I'm trying just as hard to become a pro as you. I could get dropped at any minute as well. I don't have time to do this charity work. Again, these characters make conscious rational decisions and you can't fault them for it because you do the same thing in their shoes. Except for this guy, I fucking hate this guy. Not to be confused with this guy who's actually a really good guy. No, 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 no. This guy, super cool, great person. This guy, boo, bad. This guy is just a dick for the sake of being a dick. There's no point in him acting like this, and it's the only thing I found to be kind of off about the show. If you ever watch the anime, please do me a favor and call him the meanest things possible. Fuck you. So in the end, I really like this show. Is it better than Blue Lock? I don't know, you're a big boy or a girl, make the choice for yourself. What I will say though, is that in terms of actually playing football, going over the concepts, the general skills that players do, yeah, Awashi is better because that's what the anime chooses to focus on. But the thing to note is, they're two completely different shows with completely different premises. And I love both of them. So comment what you think about it if you choose to watch it, but yeah, I'll see you on the next one.